Monday. I just wanted to pop on here and open up the vlog before it got late in the week because we were trying to improve on the vlogging consistency because the last couple weeks, man, has it taken me time to get back into my groove. So anyway, got up this morning. Actually, my best friend FaceTimed me for like over an hour, but for once, I was productive during the FaceTime and I walked around the house and I picked everything up that needed to be picked up, put away toys, put away dishes, cleared off the coffee table, all that good stuff. So now I actually feel a little bit more settled. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but if the house is like destroyed, I have a really hard time sitting down and reading because I'm always thinking about the things that I should be doing. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna probably do, sometimes I do this just because it keeps me more productive and I actually get more reading done, so I need to do this more often. But I'm gonna set a timer and read for like 20 minutes and then probably take some laundry upstairs and then read for like 20 minutes and then do some more stuff. And I swear I end up getting more done in a day because I'm like rushing to do as much as I can in a short amount of time than when I just like leave big blocks of open space. So that's kind of the game plan for today. It is Monday. I don't like doing anything that I don't have to on Monday. I was gonna do grocery shopping, but I don't want to. And today I'm just gonna relax and clean up the house and just chill out at home. So anyway, I'm still reading The Green Glass House. I am about 100 pages in now, I think. Like I'm just about to start chapter four. This actually has relatively long chapters, so they take a little bit more time to get through. Um, either that or I'm just used to a site that had really, really short chapters most of the time, so now they feel long again. Anywho, I'm gonna go do some reading and I will catch up with you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and I'm just popping on here really quick to update you. I'm standing at, I wanna call it the back door because it's the door we don't use, but it's actually the front of our house. Anyway, my kids are gonna be home any minute. I'm just waiting for the bus to pull up so I can open the door and let them know I'm here. Um, but today is really exciting because one of my sweet friends from Instagram, I will link her down below, send me the toll. She had an extra copy and she asked if she could send it to me and I am so excited. Wow, those kids got here so fast. Normally I have more time to wait. Like sometimes I wait at the door for like 10 minutes before they come. Anyway, I am so excited to get to the toll. Like you don't even know. I need to read Thunderhead. I'm actually gonna read Thunderhead after the Green Glass House, but I am so excited and this was so sweet and I am just like, beyond thankful and grateful and I feel so blessed and she actually included um, Swedish fish and some kind of Sour Patch Kids I've never had before and some chocolate that I haven't had before that I am so excited to try. Um, I might sneak some right now because my kids are home and I'm gonna share. As far as what I'm reading goes, I'm still reading The Green Glass House. I'm a little bit past page 120. There isn't, like I don't know how to explain it, there isn't a whole lot going on. But I love these characters and I was talking to Liv about this the other day and I think one thing I really love about this book is as a kid, I had a very vivid imagination. Like I played make-believe for a long time. I played make-believe for years. Like I was probably 12 or 13 before I really stopped playing make-believe for like my own gain. But even as an adult, like I like to play make-believe with my kids. I just like to play pretend it's just fun. And so there's this one character, Mehdi, who is like more of a side character in the book, or I guess like there's two main characters if you count Milo and Mehdi. And I love her and she's so spunky and so funny. And I love that she like pushes Milo like out of his comfort zone a little bit. And it's sort of like this, like he doesn't really like her, but then she kind of forces her friendship into him and just like, then he likes her. And it's just, it's really fun and it's really cute. And like I said, not a lot has happened yet, but I'm really enjoying it, even though I don't know why I'm reading so slowly this month, like even slower than I normally do, um, but I'm loving it. So I'm not really too upset about it. We're going to the movies tonight. Uh, it's Tuesday. 
and we're gonna go see 1917. Jared and I have been wanting to see this. I think it came out a couple weeks ago, but then Jared was sick, so we didn't go last week, and Christmas time we didn't go because it's Christmas. Uh, so we're really excited to get to it before it leaves theaters. So anyway, my children, you can see right through the house, there's the little one. Uh, they're home and I'm sure they're gonna get noisy any second. So I'm gonna stop this here, but I just wanted to let you know, got some happy mail today. I did some reading today. I did some cleaning and stuff today. Um, I was gonna wash my hair, but then I decided, you know what? It can probably survive another day. So that's what we did. Um, anyway, I'll catch up with you soon. Are my own hell. I won't let you out my sight Cause then I would have no light And someone else would find your beauty Hey friends, it's Thursday and I have been productive today. I mopped and swept in reverse order my whole house today yes rock on i even got out like the what is it called the oil soap for the wood floor and like shined it up it looks lovely so i did do some reading this morning of the green glass house and it is still so cute i just love the two main characters in this but i love that they're written so clever like they're smart kids they have good conversation they're intuitive, it's neat. Um, Milo is a little bit insecure. Medi seems a little more extroverted. She kind of like forces her friendship on him, which I think is really adorable. Not in like a bad way, but just like she kind of weasels her way in and at first he doesn't really want anything to do with her and then he warms up to her. And they end up getting this whole like game of like make believe and they have made up characters and made up names and I love it i think it's so cute it's so enjoyable i haven't been bored at all i have maybe 100 pages left maybe a little bit less i'm not sure exactly how many pages are in the book but it's just going so good and it's so sweet and i'm still really excited to pick up thunderhead next but the green glass house is like such a fun time and i'm excited to see how everything gets wrapped up so i'm just gonna chill out for another hour or so i might make some tea or something i don't know but I'm just gonna sit and I'm gonna read and chill out now that I feel like I've accomplished something that needed to get done. And I will catch up with you guys soon. Monday. I'm popping on here to quickly update you guys with what's going on, um, why it's Monday. We had a really lazy weekend. Jared and I were kid free for Friday night and Saturday night because they stayed at one grandparents and then the other. Um, so we mostly just had kind of a staycation this weekend. We were going to have Friendsgiving, but a bunch of stuff came up and like six people couldn't make it. So we decided to postpone. We did still have a really fun games night with a couple people that could still come, like my sister and a couple of friends still came over. So it was fun, but for the most part of the weekend, we were kid free and we, like I said, we went out for dinner. We just watched movies, watched TV, hung out. It was so nice and so relaxing. We had like no responsibilities outside of taking care of the dog. So that was just like a nice, just a nice little break. Not that we haven't had one before, but just like, it was just, it was needed. It was just nice. So I didn't end up picking up a single book this weekend, which I'm a little sad about because I wanted to finish Green Glass House, but that's fine. I have like 60 pages left, so I should be able to finish that today. And I kid you not, this morning I woke up to Owl throwing up down my arm on the dog and all over my bed. It was so disgusting. Not the way I wanted to wake up today. Not 
as early as I wanted to wake up today. So that's how I started my day was with a ridiculous amount of laundry. Um, as you can see, there's no like top stuff on the bed. Thankfully it didn't get under the comforters, but it did get on both comforters and the dog, which I have to go bathe him very soon. Um, he's like down in the kitchen, so he can't get anything messy, but I just, I was so tired. I need, I need another cup of coffee and then I can bathe the dog. My hair is up. It actually turned out pretty cute. I tried to like revive the curls today. Couldn't do it. Couldn't get them going. They just, it's just that time of year where they just like don't have a lot of spring left in them. So I put them in this cute little um, scrunchie with a bow on it. I think we're doing good. Looking kind of cute. I need to take this off and do something with it. Um, the other thing I need to do today is I need to take down my Christmas tree. It is getting really droopy and as much as I love it, it is looking pretty dead. So we gotta throw that out the door today, take all the ornaments off, pack them up. It's the saddest part of the year. I hate taking down the Christmas tree because it's so pretty, but I have to put everything away so it can be exciting again next year. Um, and other than that, I don't think we have anything going on today. Um, today's a PA day. I can't remember if I mentioned that. The schools are striking this week, so we'll see how many days the kids are off. Next week's vlog might be very noisy and kid-filled. We shall see. Hopefully I can still get a bunch of reading done even if the kids are home. But other than that, that's like all I've got for now. I'm like, I can't even think I'm so tired this morning and just have done like so much so early. It's nice and sunny today, which is nice. But anyway, I'm gonna close this out here. As always, drop a comment down below. What are you reading? Do you have any fun plans? Do you have anything coming up on the weekend? All that good stuff I always like to know. And while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you don't miss future notifications. Don't forget to hit the bell. And I will talk to you guys all in next week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.